Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be telling you the exact training plan you need to be following along with right now. I'll be giving you my bias, where I'm looking for next and the targets that I have. I'll be telling you all of that information in this video. So please make sure you're paying attention. I'm walking you through each step of the way, how to be making profits alongside me right now. I'm gonna pick up right where I left off my last video, which was of course the one and only why Bitcoin will make new highs. This was the last Bitcoin analysis that I did for the public and throughout this video, as well as of course, always more in my group explaining why I'm bullish, why I'm looking for new yearly highs, why I really believe that we're gonna be pushing up higher. Any dip is still a long opportunity because we got those major targets above us. Here we are today at $30,000. You know, what a play out that was. You know, can you see even here from the title, will make new highs. It's not if, it's not this, it's not, it's not you know, I'm not low on confidence. I have full confidence, reasons backed up by the charts of why I truly believe we're gonna go to those higher prices. And you all know what happened next, we got those higher prices. So let me explain how that come about. The past 24, 48 hours of price action, then we're gonna zoom in on what's happening right now here at around 30K and exactly how I am approaching this next. Please pay attention, I know I can help you. Uh, so let's get straight into it, right? In this video, we of course had just seen this intraday setup that I gave to my team in advance play out. Very nicely indeed, what can we say? Um, <laughs> of course, this was the uh, lower term time frame triangle that we had for the intraday long trade setup. Came to fruition very nicely a few hours later after being posted, where we got then our long trade entry. Okay, so then here, we were looking for the fake out of the triangle. We've then got the fake out of the triangle. This gives us our long trade entry, okay? At the time, we of course were coming up to the local CC Fibonacci level on the local smaller range value area high. Nice TP1. As then over the week, course of the weekend, the next few days, we went totally sideways during Easter. Uh, low volume, but you know, there was no reason to close that long trade because although we hit take profit one, yeah, the invalidation and stop loss was never hit. So let's keep that in the original place. This is a tight range, but we still have got those higher and bigger targets to come. So my analysis was simple. Once we've got in that trade, you know, we've made the plan, we've executed, we've got in the trade, still remaining in that long trade as there's no reason to close it yet. We then obviously started to form after this triangle, sideways price action, a larger triangle, symmetrical triangle. Of course, I'm looking for continuation. I've been making it very clear. My bias of this was reaccumulation. I was looking to reaccumulate and for this to push up higher again, following my Elliott wave count, following my bias and following my higher term time frame context really led me to believe we are gonna be making new yearly highs as I made that extremely clear, transparent and simple, quite simple to be honest with you. All you needed to do was truly pay attention and have some trust, have some trust that uh, when is the last time I let you down on a Bitcoin call? Can't remember the last time. You're not gonna have to do your own research on that. I can't remember it offhand. But you know, this is just what I'm saying to you like right now, like we had the bias, we had the Elliott wave counts, we had the Fibonacci, we had the crazy massive bullish CVD divergences. We had everything coming together to really lead us to believe we were gonna be making a new yearly high above that last $29,000 pivot, right? And of course it come together very nicely indeed. And we put in this, and this was, I mean, this is what I was saying in my group today, like this was a perfect, perfect triangle. Okay, so we had the smaller intraday triangle. Within that smaller intraday triangle, fake out of the low to give us the long trade. We then started to form a bigger triangle. And for within that bigger triangle, we started to get a really perfect Elliott wave count going on in here. So we had the wave A, B, C, D, E within a wave four, looking for the final wave five here. Of course, this is a smaller degree than our larger degree wave five. So this is the sub count, uh, but it all come together very nicely indeed. And of course, here we are now trading at around $30,200. And so now what I'm gonna do is zoom into the more local price action here and explaining why I am still bullish, I am still looking for higher, and any dip that comes before my next target will be a long opportunity. So let's zoom in here and let me explain that. Okay, one thing that I wanna do, and I wanna make this very clear indeed, because this is, this is my little part. You know how much I've been very clear you know, really clear with my biases, you know, especially within the group, right? I've done, done calls in the group, making it, you know, simple things like this, simple, 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 wake up, follow the plan. We're gonna take out $29,000 high, prefer long trades, you know, really think we're going to 30K here, still bullish, still believe we're gonna take the high, still buying the dip, still not shorting, still not long. 
you know, you, you, you wake up to these updates with my track record. Again, you're not just trusting me blindly. With my track record, are you really, you know, this is just such a confidence booster. You can imagine, right? You read this, you're really thinking, yeah, let's, let's, let's buy these dips, let's get higher. You know, I'm giving you the intraday trade setups. You, you, you likely follow in along, right? And uh, this is my little bit. And in those videos, you know, even in this one, I'm saying it will make new highs. You know, I'm understanding I can be wrong, just as I could be wrong now, right? I could be wrong that we make a new high. I believe another yearly high is coming. I really believe another yearly high is coming, we'll break this high. I could be wrong. I could be wrong and we don't do that, right? But <laughs> no reason to believe that thus far, and that's why I'm gonna explain my next targets above us. But it's like I wanted to just say here, bring your attention to a few facts that I love to talk about right now. And that is 99% of crypto trading groups are formed by ex-chart champion students, learners themselves. 99% of their ideas are found miraculously, right? After I have posted my analysis first, 99% of their whole product is a poor attempt at imitation. We release an idea, guess what? It's probably gonna follow soon after. We release a module, it will soon follow after. We release a trading idea, it's soon to follow after. You know, we are the leaders of this space like we are today, like we were years ago. Everyone else is an imitator of the game right now and that is fa failing poorly quite simply at that. We are the number one in this space right now. My trades are proving it in front of your eyes. My calls are coming together exactly as I wanted to see and everything right now is very nice indeed. And I just kind of warn you, be careful of the imitations, be careful of the, you know, the pretenders we could say and really just just look at the results in front of your eyes. Look who has the confidence, not coming in here saying this, that, this, that, this, that. Reaccumulation, higher prices, reaccumulation. Really believe that it is reaccumulation. If I'm wrong, I will happily say I'm wrong. But for now, I'm making my plan. I'm sticking to my plans. Other people are out here trying to make videos of me when I'm getting it wrong, but most of these people are too scared to even commit to an idea direction, right? It's, might do this, might do that, might do this, might do that. Uh, you know, I'm not too sure on this. Nobody wants to commit like I have because they're so scared of getting it wrong. I'm putting myself in positions where I can get it wrong and I will have backfire. Okay, I understand that. But guess what? My confidence is high. I have such you know, belief in my trades, not based off of my wants or, 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 or needs, but based off of the technicals. The technicals are strong. This market is for the traders, and that is where the profit is generated right now. And it is very nice indeed. Final thing before we end here, you know, I'll just say that. Everybody that's sat on their commentator stools right now, thousands of traders out there, but there is only one CC pool. Love me or hate me, quite simply, if you wanna be on the team that's making profits, CC Pool is all you need to be listening to to make yourself and your life times 100 easier in this market. Block the noise, follow the originals, follow the best CC Pool. What can I say? Uh, moving on to where we are right now. As I've mentioned, I am bullish, as I have been pretty much throughout this year. I'm looking for new highs. I'm gonna give you the targets now. Pay attention, let's go. So really simply, we are forming a sideways range currently. Okay, within this sideways range, we've got our next range high, which of course currently is our yearly high, right? So for me, it's simple. I am not short in here, I've not shorted here, I've not shorted here, I've not shorted here. I am not short from any of this section in the chart. I have no short positions open at all from the whole of this year of trading, right? So for me, it's simple. If we get a dip from here, if we pull back, it is for me a buying opportunity. I am buying the buying every single dip until we take this high. From here, I will look and make an informed decision. If we form a swing failure pattern, if we form a failed auction, then I will open a short. But only once we have seen that and based off of that reaction. If you wanna know more about swing failure patterns, failed auctions, you can learn that all across on the educational material on Chart Champions, right? You can learn it in, in a few hours. Uh, for, for me now, the bias on this video is bullish. It's a new highs are gonna be made. Any dip that comes before we make a new high will be a buying opportunity. Once we make this new high, I will check the reaction. If we get a swing failure pattern or failed auction, I can take a short trade. If we blast through the level, I will look towards the previous range value area high. Okay, sitting in there, this is a zone of around 30,700 to 30,800, okay? And of course, we have our next levels above us. This is more of a lower term time frame trading update based on this initial lower term time frame range, how the update came about from the last video that I made for Bitcoin. And you know, really simply, as you can see here, I know many others are the same. 
got into the long after that triangle fake out. Thank you for the confluence. You know, we got long trades across the board, profit being printed, and we are riding this long. Patience was key. Nice work, my friends. Nice work, my team. As we once again continue to crush this market, right? Uh, so yeah, congratulations on all the people that listened. <laughs> Many people. Dan says higher. We get higher. What can go wrong? Piece of cake when you know how. Couldn't agree more. Dan, you said it will go higher. It goes higher. Simple as that, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to really make your life as easy and simple as possible right now, okay? You want the clear biases, you want the clear directions, I'm giving that to you. I'm giving you what you need, I'm giving you what you want. I want to see you succeed, I want to see you prosper, and, you know, I'm giving you the tools necessary. It's not just about handing signals, it's not just about giving you calls and directions, but I'm also giving you the power and the tools necessary to educate yourself. You know, we've got the whole course on the website, from beginners to master. And here's the new Elliott Wave modules. Uh, you got the Elliott Waves, you know, you got every single bit of tool and guidance that you need to make profits right now, from the course to the inbuilt journal to the vaults and the templates, right? Everything that you need to learn how I am crushing this market, how you can absolutely learn to do that alongside me. What can I say? Uh, final words will be uh, at the end of the day, this is now a more local trading range that we're starting to form. My bullish is biased that will make a new yearly high above on Bybit, $30,484. So I'm looking for a new high above this. Stop out any early shorts that we've formed here. Um, you know, from, in my opinion, the inexperienced, not going to be looking for that early short. We're going to be looking for a new high. If we do pull back here before that long buy opportunity, let's take out this high. Let's check the reaction. SFB failed auction. We got a short trade. Absolutely, we do. We can then trade this more local range. If we don't form that, let's look up to the value area high. If we blast through that, when we keep going from level to level, I will always be prepared with a bullish and a bearish plan. I'm always prepared for both scenarios because I am a trader that understands the realm of pro pro probabilities. I am uh, definitely aware of that, right? Uh, so I have a bullish and a bearish plan, but I'm only trading one of those. And I'm trading my bullish plan. I'm looking for higher. And that will only change if and when we hit my next target to the upside. And if we see a swing for a pattern or failed auction, then I'll take the short. For then, I'm not in a short yet, not in a short from this year, looking for higher. And uh, yeah, there's only one place to be if you want to actually make profits right now, and that is CC Pool Chart Champions. Number ones, facts, go check it yourself. No one like us. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. There's not many people who are attempting to be like us, but there's only one original. There's only one place you're actually going to have this absolute clear as day bias given to you. CC Pool. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And... Now you know my plan for the intraday perspective. Boom. Love you all. And that's me signing out. I had to do this one. I had to do this one. I know some people are going to be not, not enjoying it too much. But hey, I've done enough talking. Let's get back to the charts. And uh, let's crush it as we absolutely love to do. CC Paul, see you in the next one. Cheers.